Apologies have been coming out of Downing Street thick and fast. I want to apologise. There were real mistakes made. The latest is to Buckingham Palace for two parties held at number 10 on the eve of Prince Philip's funeral. Just hours before the Queen sat alone at her husband's service, Downing Street staff partied into the night. And the Queen wasn't the only Windsor resident making sacrifices at the time. After yet another party revelation, many people in this conservative voting Berkshire town want to see the back of Boris Johnson. I was working in a care home at the time, so, uh, you know, full PPE'd up to the eyeballs with masks on. And you see that happening and it's just, it's just another case of them laughing at the country really, isn't it? I think the sooner he goes off to uh, party land and, you know, doesn't come back, probably the better. They didn't think of other people and they never have done, so as far as I'm concerned, yeah, it's the end of the road. And that's not all. Kate Josephs, former head of the government's COVID task force, held leaving drinks on December 17th, 2020. She led the department which wrote the restrictions banning social events at the time. She said she's truly sorry. Like the boozy basement party, this gathering took place while many families couldn't even comfort one another while saying their farewells to their loved ones. Fran's husband died of COVID in October 2020. While I was at the graveside where Steve was buried and I couldn't have people hug me, we didn't have a reception after his funeral. We all went back home on our own and they drank and partied. These apologies have come just days after the Prime Minister said sorry for attending a Downing Street party in May 2020. But how many more apologies will the nation, palace and Conservative Party accept? Has the time come for Boris Johnson to resign? No, 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 no. I mean, these stories are terrible. Um, and I can completely understand the, the, the sense of exasperation and anger that people feel, completely. Um, but we've got an investigation going on now, and rather than the sort of drip, drip, drip of revelations, we need to have a complete, full, candid uh, account of everything that went on. While the Prime Minister does still have some allies in his party, this number is dwindling. Conservative MP Andrew Bridgen is the latest to submit a letter of no confidence in the PM. I voted for Boris Johnson to be the leader of the Conservative Party and the Prime Minister. And I don't regret that. He's delivered Brexit, we've delivered the vaccine rollout. But now these latest revelations, they make his position as Prime Minister untenable. The Metropolitan Police are under pressure to complete their own investigation. But they've said they won't do so until the results of Sue Gray's are made public. Gray is now looking into an extensive list of 14 parties. But without the power to question staff under oath, many question the top civil servant's ability to get to the facts. 